In the previous video, we have seen uh, the basic structure of timer zero. In this uh, tutorial, we'll go ahead and use it in a couple of examples and I'll show you how this really works. Now, to have a quick review, so discuss that there are two resistors, TC and T. Uh, zero is the actual resistor where uh, you know the timer takes and OCR it's the output compare resistor and we'll not be using this in this video and this just keeps I mean if we store a particular value in it uh, the the, uh, the the timer unit what it does it it, com it keeps comparing that value to the value in DC and T0 and as soon as it equals this value it raises the OCF flag output compare flag now uh, so what we'll be using in this video is the tc and t resistor and uh, tc and t zero resistor and the tov flag you know these flags get generated when the timer overflows the uh, tc and t zero runs from zero to 255 and when it rolls over from 255 to zero the tov timer overflow flag uh, you know it it sets and We'll be using the TCCR resistor. So this is used to actually set uh, how set the way we want to use the timer. All right. So uh, here are the resistors. So uh, these three bits define the clock source, as discussed previously. And in this video, we'll be using this. And uh, before we move ahead, I would like to uh, quickly tell you one important thing here. So this. TOV flag that we have here you know the timer runs from 0 to 255 and when it rolls over this flag sets this flag becomes 1 and uh, this is so fast uh, so we'll just calculate and tell you so if uh, you know this is so fast that it sets and if we check this value we know that the timer has overflowed but if you want to check for the next time we need to clear this flag all right so uh, the important thing here is if you want to clear your flag normally you would write a zero to clear a flag but this is not the case in in case we have timers to clear this particular flag we need to write one to the a resistor which has this flag and this flag it is contained in the resistor called TIFR timer inter flag resistor and this flag TOV0 it's in the D0 position so if you want to clear this flag this bit should be made 1 and not 0 so uh, I, I wrote the code for the first time a long back and then it is not working and uh, I did not know what was happening. I was clearing clearing the flag by adding a zero to this. And when I check the data sheet, you know, I sh it says that you need to write one to clear the flag. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do a pretty quick example with this. Now, okay. So the timer. Let's see how fast it is. So it runs on 16 megahertz and the highest prescalar value that that we can put here is 1024 all right so uh, so before the timer takes that frequency let's divide it by 1024 so what we get so let me just calculate that real quick divided by 1024 so this is 15.625 kilohertz so it means each timer tick okay so this is a timer this timer tick is equal to reciprocal of this which is 1 divided by this which is 64 microseconds okay so in every 64 microseconds the timer overflows now I actually wanted to show you how the TC and T uh, you know resistor uh, keeps incrementing at this fast rate but the problem now is since it's uh, you know taking at a rate of 64 microseconds I would not be able to show it on the uh, serial terminal or on the LCD because it's just too fast so what you would rather do in this example is uh, we would go ahead and increment a counter every time this 
uh, you know this overflows and then uh, we will display that count on the uh, on the LCD so uh, so what that time would be uh, now each tick is 64 microseconds and timer 0 as we know it's a 8 bit timer and it would run from 0 to 255 so there would be total 256 times it runs and each time take take 64 microseconds so this would be 256 into 64 microseconds and let's see how much that is okay then into 256 this is about 16 milliseconds so I guess 16 milliseconds should be enough for the LCD to display a number uh, when it is done using the BZ flag okay so let's just go ahead and write the code for this example now what we'll do in this is first we would turn on the timer and this we would do with a prescalar of 1024 so to do that the value of the TCCR resistor would be 0x05 so let me show you how that comes so uh, we don't care what these bits are okay so what we care about is only this bit so the timer starts whenever this is not 000 when it is 00 it stopped so we want it to run at the clock divided by 1024 and on the board we have a 16 megahertz crystal and so uh, you know so if we put 101 in this field which is 0x05 to the TCCR resistor the timer turns on with the prescaler of 1024 okay now next what we need to do is we need to wait till it overflows and to do that we need to check the you know the resistor it's called the TIFR and the flag in that resistor is called what is that called TOV timer overflow flag yes TOV 0 okay so uh, we turn on the timer we wait till uh, it overflows and when it overflows we will increment the count it will simply increment a variable and then uh, if we need to count next time we need to also clear it so we'll also clear the flag by writing one remember this and then uh, we will display the count on a LCD okay so with this we'll just get a feel of how fast the timer runs and how it actually works you know so uh, I guess this is a pretty good example to show you uh, how it really works inside so display the count alright so let's just go ahead and write the code for this all right, so I already configured the you know LCD files here. I've included them in the project, and with this we are discussing the LCD tutorial. So let us just go ahead and quickly see how this timer works. Okay, so I'm including the LCD dot H here, so that will be using the display to uh, display the count. Now, uh, what we need, so what we need to do first is uh, just initialize the LCD and keep it so that we can use it whenever we want. And then uh, we also, before we go ahead and do that, we also need a variable uh, to keep the count. So I'll take a 8 bit integer and let me just call that count. Okay, so now, so what do we do? all the while so okay and before we go ahead and do that we just need to configure the timer we need to turn it on and to do that uh, we should use the TCNT resistor TCNT0 and as we discussed with this prescaler of 1024 the value of this would be 0x05 all right so we uh, with this the timer is turned on and uh, sorry the resistor where we configure the timer is tccr0 and the count would be tcnt0 so the tcnt0 is up and running right now so we need not configure it once we run turn on the timer it just runs now we'll wait till the flag becomes one so 
this is uh, so T I F R and this is ended with uh, 0 x 0 1 okay so and if it is equal to equal to 0 so this 0 x 0 1 means that we are using the timer over for flag bit uh, T O V 0 okay so uh, while the timer I mean if it does not overflow we will just wait here okay and if it overflows then we have a bunch of things to do so first thing we will do is we will clear the uh, timer flag so uh, to clear the timer flag so this is the register again we need to write one just remember that so this is equal to 0x01 zero zero so uh, simply written one to the uh, tov flag so the timer uh, flag gets cleared okay now what we'll do is we'll increment the count okay so and let us just initialize the count to zero here in the beginning okay so we'll increment the count we'll display the count okay LCD uh, display number and this is uh, we'll display the count okay uh, this should be it and yeah so what happens here is uh, till the timer overflows we wait here and then next we clear the timer we increment the counter and then we display the count so each time the timer overflows once the uh, the count is incremented and this happens at the rate of uh, we had calculated that so this happens at the rate of 16 milliseconds okay so uh, let's see how fast that is and I'm not considering the delay uh, required to execute these statements or what goes inside this function uh, this is just to show you how fast it actually runs okay now this should be fine it should work but uh, if we display the number uh, on the LCD here uh, the next time we'd go ahead and display that the position of the number would change and the LCD will be filled up with all the characters so let's make it a little fine-tuned so what we'll do is so LCD underscore display string we'll just display timer zero example and this would be on the line one and okay so this would be on line one on line two uh, display string we'll say well, how much time has lapsed so let me type lapse okay and this is on position zero one two three four five so I'll display the this number so LCD every time it will display uh, the number below on uh, this XY position so this is line 1 and the position is 7 okay so every time we want the count would be displayed on line uh, 1 and position 7 by line 1 I mean there are two lines 0 and 1 so line 1 position 7 all right so I think this is it so let me just compile this and check if there are any errors okay what is that tccr0 okay there's no simple here okay all right so I'll go ahead and upload this on the board and let's see what we get all right so uh, you know before I go ahead and dump that onto the controller I would like to uh, you know take home a couple of points here what you could see here is we are waiting till the timer overflows so what it basically means is the controller is waiting for the timer to overflow okay now this is a disadvantage because the CPU has to monitor it all the while and it cannot do anything else so when we cover entrapped so 
uh, we'll discuss how a timer overflow generates an interrupt and that interrupt can be used uh, to tell the CPU as to that the timer has overflowed and you need not uh, wait for it all the while. Okay, so this is the first point. And the second thing is uh, you could go ahead and try out the other prescalar modes and you know other possible ways to use timer zero. Let's say to generate a delay of uh, a, a, uh, you cannot do a second, but uh, let's say generate some delay of 50 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds. So the point here was the timers are pretty precise and you know you can use them to anything you want and also uh, we'll, we'll cover timer 1 in the next video and I'll also show you something cool with timers when we cover uh, the interrupts but you'll have to wait till the interrupts uh, we complete the interrupts. Alright so I'll go ahead and dump this code and I just added one more line here so the lab should go to line 2 so we'll go ahead and dump this code and we'll see uh, how it is working on the hardware so thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe all right so uploaded the code here i don't know if you can see it uh, but the every take as we are calculated it takes about 16 milliseconds there's some delay uh, you know for the LCD to work and all of that but I uh, just wanted to show you how fast it runs okay so let me just reset the board yes so watch the you know s the second digit here it goes zoom and the third even the third digit I mean you hardly see the third digit there alright so uh, just wanted to show you how powerful these timers are and how you could use them in your projects. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, do not forget to subscribe and do check uh, the products on our webpage uh, exploreembedded.com.